As many of you already know, Justin Bieber, who's arguably one of the most famous people in the world, he's been talking a lot more about his faith in the last few years. This seemed to start around the time that him and the former Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz were best friends and seemed to be inseparable. Lentz is actually the one who baptized Justin Bieber, and Justin Bieber actually lived with him for a while, but then they seemed to have a fallout in 2019. Now, sometime after that is when the whole Carl Lentz affair story broke, where Carl got caught cheating on his wife, and Bieber and Bieber's wife wife stopped following Lentz on social media. Now fast forward to about a week ago or so where Justin Bieber talked about the problem with these sorts of celebrity pastors. In the interview, Bieber's quoted saying, I think so many pastors put themselves on a pedestal and it's basically church can be surrounded around the man, the pastor, the guy, and it's like this guy has the ultimate relationship with God that we all want but we can't get because we're not this guy. That's not the reality though. The reality is every human being has the same access to God. He is grace. Every time we mess up, he's picking us back up every single time. That's how I view it. And so it's like, I made a mistake. I won't dwell in it. I don't sit in shame, but it actually makes me want to do better. Now, what Bieber says here is true, of course, and for those of us that are in positions where we have groups of people who are listening to what we say about God, we all know that we're every bit as human as every single person that listens to us. Whether we admit it or not, we know that we're not perfect and we all have a lot of room for growth and we all have our own issues and struggles like everyone else does. Now, when it comes to me personally, I genuinely don't see myself as being better than anyone else out there, believer or non-believer, and I think that the gospel keeps it that way. Because think about it, if I was saved because I was better or more moral or more spiritual than other people, then I probably would feel a sense of superiority to others who didn't do the work that I did or didn't earn salvation like me. But if I didn't do anything to earn my salvation, how could I possibly feel better than anyone else just because I'm saved? I can't because I didn't do anything to earn it. All I did to be saved was simply receive the gift from God that you and everyone else has the exact same access to. So knowing that we're saved by grace, which is a free and undeserved gift, that should take away that self-righteousness that can easily come from thinking that you're saved because of the works that you've done or how good that you are. In Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, he wrote, For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there is quarreling among you, my brothers. What I mean is that each one of you says, I follow Paul, or I follow Apollos, or I follow Cephas, or I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you except for Crispus and Gaius, so that no one may say that you were baptized in my name. Thankfully, no one today is being baptized in me or Justin Bieber's name, but this reminds us that as Christians, we aren't here to make ourselves famous. We're here to make God and his gospel message famous. We aren't the show or the event that you came to see. We're only pointing you in the direction of the real show and the real event, the creator of the universe and what he did to bring you into a relationship with him. So for those of us that are teachers, it's easy to let stuff get to your head, but we can't lose sight of that. The truth is, is that every single one of you who are watching this video right now, you have the ability to reach people with the gospel through the different gifts and situations that God placed you in and entrusted you with. And the same is true for someone like Justin Bieber, because he has a gift for singing and God can use him to reach people that he has an influence over. But at the same time, that's true for all of us. God can use you for people that you might have an influence over or even to help support, pray for, and encourage those who do have an influence over others. We all have a role to play. In fact, if you were to ask me, I think that discipling people in real life and walking with people daily has a far stronger effect on people than anything that I can do on YouTube or anything that Justin Bieber can do at a concert or on Instagram or whatever. I've seen lives being changed and most of the time real change happens when people are supported in a body of believers and have a real authentic and honest community or relationships from believers that they can learn from. So the point is, if you have a tendency to mentally elevate those of us who have platforms as being intrinsically greater or even feel envious in some way, don't. God uses everyone in different ways, even if it isn't obvious to you or other people. And if you're a teacher or a leader and you feel a sense of being greater than others, then I hope that you remember what Jesus said to the religious teachers of his day. He said, those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted.
And Jesus also said, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So those of us that are teachers, our leaders, our mission here is to serve and to point people to Christ and the gospel message. So I think that Bieber made a true point in that interview and one that should be echoed. But all of this might make you wonder, if God uses his leaders to reach people, why is it that God allows so many of those leaders to fall into public sin and damage his name? Well, that's what I talk about in this video. So go ahead and click here and I'll see you over there. But the next time that you find yourself elevating these pastors and teachers or celebrities to places that they don't belong, what are you going to say? What do you mean?